Grok for a tutorial and review. Is it better than ChatGPT? Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between Grok 4 and ChatGPT and I'm going to show you guys how you can get started with Grok 4. What exactly is this platform and why it is a slightly different tool than ChatGPT. Now we all have heard about ChatGPT and the waves that it has made. However, Grok 4 is a really nice alternative that you can use. Personally, I have used Grok4 and it has been something that has really piqued my interest. So to get started with Grok4, simply head on over to grok.com. Once you go into grok.com, click on sign up to proceed with your sign up. You can sign up using X, your email, Apple, or Google. And I'm just going to proceed with Google for a quick and easy sign up. So I'm just signing in over here using my account and then I can proceed on to Grok4. Now once I have logged onto my Grok account, your dashboard is going to look like this. So it's it's very similar to what you see on ChatGPT. You have, you know, the basic over here, you have your prompt box. Now within this, you have the option to attach files. You have the deep research option as well as deeper research. So this allows you to get more citations. It allows you to find more in-depth resources. And then you have deeper research with extended reasoning. Then you also have their think mode. Their think mode is specifically built for logical reasoning and deduction. Now, when you compare this to ChatGPT, it has these tools. So it has, it has Canvas web searches, creating images, deep research, as well as think for longer. So it does have some similar, you know, interface and similar tools. Now on the right, you're going to see your Grok model. So this is what I really like about Grok is that you can set up your own custom instructions. So it can be customized to how you want it to respond. If you want it to be concise, if you want it to be Socratic, if you want it to be formal, or if you want it to be custom. And you can ask it to perform by your particular standards or your particular niche, however you want that to be. You can also choose to change its behavior, so it auto scroll, follow up suggestions, type head suggestions, and more. And you can also click on data controls to improve the model and personalize Grok with your conversation history. Now, if you want something that is really tamper free or that is going to be really objective, you opt to turn this option off so it is not going to customize your conversations. And one other feature that I really like about Grok is that you have different personas. So you have Grok Doc, you have Therapist. You have homework helper, loyal friend, unhinged comedian, and companion. All of these personas are really nice to use, especially when you're just trying to have a chat. Now, when you go into Grok over here on the bottom right, you can click on upgrade to actually upgrade to Grok 4 because Grok is something that you do have to either pay for monthly or yearly. And on the yearly plan, you can save 16%. But if you pay monthly, you can get started with Grok 4 for only $30 a month. So simply click on upgrade to Grok. And then we're going to upgrade to Super Grok to be able to access all the features that are available on Grok 4. So I'm just going to proceed on over here and then click on subscribe. Subscribe. And once I do that, I can move forward with my Grok subscription. So right now we have completed our Grok subscription and we can proceed with Grok 4. Now starting off, we're going to click on Grok 4 and we're just going to proceed with using the Grok 4 model. Now once we go into Grok 4, we're going to ask the same prompt to ChatGPT and we're going to ask the same prompt for Grok. So for this, I want to find the literature gap for IO psychology suggest three variable research topics research topics in this field and let's say make it for quantitative studies for quantitative studies now this is a bit you know it is something that it is going to have to dive deep into and it's going to have to analyze everything because this prompt is very specific so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to ask this to grok4 now I'm going to ask the exact same thing to ChatGPT and we will see what type of answers both of these are going to give us. And you will see that there are going to be some really big differences when you are going to look at these. You guys can see that ChatGPT has already created the answer, whereas Grok is currently defining everything. So there are some key literature gaps, so intersectionality, limited longitudinal studies, digital age phenomena unexplored, BR training outcomes, quiet training, psychology of 
about insider threats, critical anti-work perspectives. So these are a few variables that it is suggesting. Then we have techno stress. We also have insider threat intentions, drug triad, as well as perceived psychosocial safety climate. So we have a summary table and these are some of the key variables and design that it is recommending. So within this, we have techno stress, EI, commitment, burnout, and techno stress buffer. We have insider threat predictors. So like so, it has currently given us our answer. So we have these three topics that it has identified as less researched or under-researched within IO psychology. Now, when it comes to GRAC4, you guys can see we have academic practice divide. We also have education and training deficiencies as well as integration of emerging technologies. So these are the three quantitative topics and this has actually done a way better job. The reason for this is it is actually specifying the entire topic and the three variables. It is giving me the study name. So the name that I would use would actually just be this. So organizational support between AI adoption and employee satisfaction, uh, psychological safety in the link between leadership diversity and team performance. Then we have moderating effect of training program design on the association between labor skill gaps and employee retention. So this is actually really nice. Not only has it given me the topics, but it also has given me diversity groups and suggestions on how uh, this is going to be taking place. So team performance is DV evaluated by objective measures like productivity scores through psychological safety um, mediator gauged by this particular safety scale bootstrap mediation analysis. And it has even suggested the analysis and it is a bit more detailed. Now let's take a very different approach. If I ask Grok4 to create an image, so create a image of a team working in a office and I ask pretty much the same thing to chat GPT. I'm going to ask it the exact same thing within the same conversation and we're going to see how both of these are going to perform differently or similarly. One key difference you will note is that Grok creates two images and whenever it creates an image, whenever you create an image with Grok, you have the ability to add a creative style and it has pre-built styles. You have creative backgrounds that you can add as well as alter the subjects. However, when it comes to ChatGPT, although it does create images, the images do not have these preset tools. So you can use these preset tools to actually create images and you're able to maximize the efficiency of Grok. Not only that, but if I upload a file, so if I am going to attach any file, it could be an image, it could truly be anything that I might have. And I'm just uploading a mp3 file and I want to transcribe this. I cannot do audio files, so I would have to... Let's demonstrate this with a different kind of file. We are going to be using a different file where we are going to be an analyzing something. Yeah, so we have this. I wanted to maybe alter something. So we have... So we have this image over here, and I've uploaded this image, I want, and I want to change the shoes to strappy heels in a red color. And right now I have uploaded my image and I just want to edit the image, which you can also do using Grok. Now this is the image that it is generating with ChatGPT for our team building. And this is the image it created, so it has four people. It's a pretty decent image, it looks realistic. But when you take a look at these images, these look really nice. And I, I do think both of them perform with, really well when it comes to images. But the alteration and the image editing tools that you are going to have access to with Grok are just way better. And you guys can see the way that it has altered the shoes. So the original shoes on this image were these red wedges. And then if I scroll down, these are the heels that it has created. So I do think that Grok has its own merits. And I do think for deeper research and deeper um, topics, Grok is an amazing tool to use. ChatGPT is pretty decent, but with the alternatives available such as Grok, I do think that you're going to pay a really low price for how detailed and amazing these features are. Not only that, but you are able to create your projects, tasks, and files and stay organized all within Grok. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any comments, then you can leave those in the comment box down below. Let me know which one of these platforms you would be using.